In a tense moment during the Denver Broncos 10-9 victory over the New York Jets at MetLife Stadium, running back Tyler Beatty was carted off the field after a hard hit left him with a back injury. The incident occurred late in the first quarter, just after Beatty fumbled the ball on a third down play. Jets linebacker Quincy Williams appeared to hit him square in the back, causing the fumble. Beatty initially walked off the field under his own power, but TV cameras caught him clutching his lower back in visible discomfort as he reached the sidelines. Concern quickly escalated as during the break between the first and second quarters, medical staff placed a neck brace on Beatty and loaded him onto a stretcher before carting him off the field and into the tunnel. At first, the Broncos listed Beatty as questionable to return, but as the game progressed, the team ultimately ruled him out for the remainder of the matchup due to a back injury. Beatty, a 2022nd sixth round draft pick by the Baltimore Ravens, has been making his mark in Denver. This is his third season in the NFL, and after a strong showing in week three against the Buccaneers, where he racked up 70 rushing yards on nine carries, he was promoted to the active roster. His promotion came after linebacker Alex Singleton was placed on injured reserve with a torn ACL. Unfortunately, Beatty wasn't the only Bronco to suffer an injury during the game. Wide receiver Marvin Mims Jr. also took a tough hit in the first quarter. Mims sustained a rib injury after an illegal hit by Jets wide receiver Irvin Charles during a punt return. Though he was initially listed as questionable, Mims showed resilience and returned to the field later in the game. While the Broncos secured a narrow victory, fans and teammates alike are anxiously awaiting updates on Tyler Beatty's condition, hoping for a quick recovery for the rising star.